Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So today I'm going to be teaching you what to do if you have these red error lines below like using Unity UI or it can even be below scene management or anything up top here. And then when that happens, like if uh, using Unity Engine.UI has this red error line below it, then anything that uses that component will also have a red error line like text or buttons, anything like that, because this has that. Anything that uses it will have it as well. So let's go over a few different ways to fix this. So the first way is make sure that everything is up to date. So I'm going to come down to the search icon as for the normal window here. So I'm going to search Visual Studio's installer. So once it's open, just make sure that everything is up to date. I actually did this prior. So if it is not up to date, there will be an update here somewhere that you should be able to click and it will update everything for you. So another thing to do is if you just installed Visual Studios, is come over to modify here, click on it, and come down, scroll down until you see the Unity game development uh, with Unity here, and make sure that that's checked too. If you installed a new version of Visual Studios, sometimes it won't have any of these checked off, as you can see, so I had to check this as well to make sure that it is on. And then I like to have developed with uh, C++ up top here checked as well. That's one thing that you can do, and as you see, I still have the errors. The next thing you can do is in the Windows here. Actually, I want to go over the other way. Uh, in Windows in Unity, there's actually a package manager. You can actually open this up, and it will take a second. Sometimes it'll get stuck and you'll have to reopen again. Uh, it's just how Unity is, so now I can actually move around. So in here, you want to come up to the search and search Visual Studios as well. And then here in the Visual Studios editor, and this is the most common problem, that's why I kind of wanted to do this uh, first. You can actually go to see all versions. And what you can do is make sure that down here, there's the update. Make sure that everything is up to date first. And if that doesn't work, what you want to do is actually you want to switch uh, down one. So I'm going to actually go down to the 1.010 rather than the 1.011. And I'm going to make sure that that is up to date too. And as you saw, it just went through. But then I'm actually going to switch back up to the latest version, which is the 1.01. .01. And I'm going to then go back up to there. And now this may have fixed it will come in here and yes as you've seen it just fixed it so this is the most common problem this is why I wanted to show you this first so it fixed it but I want to actually go over a few different methods just in case that didn't fix it for you so in the studio code editor you can actually do the same thing you can actually come down uh, and make sure that it's up to date here as well and then switch back up to the 1.07 so it's just going to import all the scripts and make sure that everything is up to date. And then I'm going to switch back up to the 1.07. And sometimes it won't actually update this until you actually switch back to. So that could be an issue as well. But uh, there we go. So that is done. So, so another thing you can do is you can come over to edit. You can actually go to preferences. And make sure in the external tools here, which it automatically brought me to, that it has... Visual Studios, whichever one you're actually using. So normally it'll have open by file extension. This is the current one that it's on, but I actually want to use the 2019, so I'm actually going to switch it here while I have it, and then it's going to actually close everything and switch it over for me. So now I'm in the 2019 version, as you've seen when it opens up the window. So another thing you can do is come over to help in Visual Studios and come down to check for updates here as well. As you see, everything is up to date. I did that in the installer, but sometimes you know you want to check here as well. So those are the most common ways, and as you see, it fixed the issue. So hopefully this helped you fixing your issue. If it did, leave a like and comment so people can find this video uh, if they have the issue as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone later.